Ed Schultz is going to lose it on a, a caller and hang up on him. This is fun. Let's listen. Hey, Ed, I just called to disagree with you about Democrats caring about veterans. I'm a retired veteran with 23 years of service. And I don't know if you know it, but one October, 171,000 of us were kicked off our health care. And those evil Republicans, like you like to call them, passed a bill in June, and it's been sitting in the Senate, and we won't bring it up. They also have a bill that's been sitting there since June to fund the VA that he wouldn't bring up. First of all, you have uh, your facts wrong. Because there's I, I a, no, 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 I, I'm not going to freaking argue with okay. you, Russell. You're full okay. of crap. Okay? You're full of it. The government shutdown hurt the veterans. Is that wrong or right? It hasn't hurt us yet. Oh, no. yet. Okay. Hasn't hurt you yet. Who shut the government down? You didn't say anything about that. No, 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 no. I will get, I will, I am going to, I am going to break your idiot argument down piece by piece. I am one of the ones kicked off. I got a letter and I, I am not on TRICARE Prime anymore and there's 171,000 of us. The whole state of Minnesota was kicked wait, off. Wait, 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 wait a second, Russell. Who's calling for the budget cuts? It isn't the Democrats. You have your facts wrong. The budget cuts are come. I, I'm, you know what? You need a right wing talker. You need to go drink some Kool Aid because you have your facts wrong on veterans benefits. Okay, all right. Well, you have you, no, 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 no. Let's, so so let's go. Let, let's go back. Let's go back. Who shut the government down? I'm not calling about the shutdown. No, I'm, I'm calling, calling about, about it them. because veterans are affected by that. You know, Russell, there were 240 bills that were passed in the House under Nancy Pelosi that Mitch McConnell never took up. Okay? Okay? Oh, I, well, I believe that. Okay, all right. So you can pin blame on whatever bill you want to pin blame on. The devil is in the details. The buck stops with the dollar. Who shut the government down? The Republicans. The Republicans. Who is who's hanging in the balance right now uh, that Vietnam veteran with his legs lost in a wheelchair? His only hope is to get a, a, a VA check. Who cut that off? And you're telling me that you're worried about health care when you've got a situation like that. And there's 170 that were thrown off. Let me tell you how many hundreds of thousands have been thrown off from care because the Republicans have cut the funding to the VA. You got to get your freaking facts straight, dude. Hey, sir. The, sir, don't no, sir me. I'm not a sir to you the way you talk to me, the way you come in with this. My wife is telling me to calm down. I just, you look. How many people were thrown off our uh, the tri How many fund? Americans don't have, how many people are going to be thrown off health care in this country with the Republicans voting to take away health care in the House 43 times? I, I Did, didn't retire for Obamacare. I retired oh, okay. for what I got. Yeah, well, you know what? My tax dollars supplied you with your benefit. Right? My, Correct. And my, see my, my, I, I, I don't want to deal with you. I just don't. I mean, I, I, that, that veterans, I don't, I don't know who got in between their ears to make them think that the Republicans are their best friend. It drives me nuts. All right. So, look, Ed is right on the substance, but he did piss me off a little bit the way that he handled that there. And everybody's focusing on the fact that Oh my goodness, he yelled at a veteran and then he hung up on a veteran. Oh. Dude, the veteran's going to be all right, okay? You know uh, how he would not be all right if he continued to not get his health care. That would be a serious issue. Yelling at him, hanging up on him. It's a dickish move, but it's not the end of the world and it's not it's it's a gotcha way of going after Schultz. Like, "Ooh, you were kind of disrespectful." So what? Like I it, it's the same card that they used back when McCain was running for president and they said Oh, yeah, one of the reasons you should vote for him, he's a war veteran. But how does that have anything to do with if he can be the president? By that logic, anybody who fought in a war could be president. Is that what you're saying? And they go, oh, no, not really, but if he was a war veteran. Okay, but if 
that doesn't mean anything in and of itself, then stop saying that and stop using that to hide behind. And that's what it is. It's something people hide behind to get away from the substance of what he's saying. So if I were Ed Schultz, how would I have handled that? that? Well, first of all, it's fine to be aggressive and it's fine to be strong, but don't cross the line into dickishness, and I think Schultz did. And look, let me explain it, <laughs> and uh, I know this guy isn't going to hear it, but it it's, should be noted anyway for the record that the reason why uh, the bills that the Republicans put forth that, you know, refunds the VA and refunds the NIH, for example, the reason why that was nonsense and that was a political ploy is because this was the plan of the Republicans. So they shut down the government. Everybody knows that. The Tea Party shut down the government and then the, G the establishment GOP also agreed later on or pretended to agree. So the Republicans shut down the government. And of course, a natural consequence is that is the NIH can't do their cancer, cancer trials with the kids and you know, the VA uh, has funding troubles and other things have funding trouble, right? And then the Republicans stepped in and said, look, here, we will fund the NIH for the cancer for the kids, the VA, and then only all these other right-wing things. What we won't fund is the EPA, uh, the FDA. What we won't fund is Obamacare. So what were the Republicans doing? It was a backdoor trick to make the government act only the way that they wanted to, even though they didn't win the election. So we voted for the Democratic ideas, and the Republicans shut down the government and only wanted to refund the things that they like. And the most important part about this is that while the Republicans said, okay, you can have health care for veterans and you can have health care for the sick kids with cancer at the NIH, what they were also saying is you cannot have funding for all the other kids with cancer and everybody else's health care under Obamacare because we're not going to fund Obamacare. So fuck those people with cancer and those people who need health care, but we'll bless these other people who need health care, the veterans and uh, the sick kids with cancer from the NIH. So it's, you get it, it's a political stunt where they appear to be the good guys, but if you look at the totality of the picture, they are definitely the bad guys, and it was a ploy for them to get their way anyway without winning the election or actually winning the debate. So that's why this veteran was misled, and that's why he's wrong in you know, bringing up the very narrow fact that, well, the Republicans wanted to refund the VA, but you got to look at the total picture, and you got to understand at what price, at what cost, and what are they leaving out, what are they not funding. So, Ed, look... You're right, dude, on the substance, but just calm down, just breathe a little bit, and explain it more concisely, and explain it a little better, and you don't have to hang up on the guy. I mean, come on.